80 20 rule. A lot of my team gets upset with me about this one. Spend 80% of your time with 20% of your people. Molly, how do you figure that out? Mm -hmm. Who's putting in orders? Who's paying for them? Who's doing events with me? Who's staying in touch with me? Who always wants to know the next thing? Who's here tonight? It doesn't mean that I don't help the others. But most of the time, they figure out what they want, they're making a little money, and that's all they want. That is okay. They're important. But the ones who really want to get their S on or get their national senior on, the ones who want that, that's who you want in your boat. All the time. Not just for the little thing around the pond. When you go on the big trips, you want them with you. So work with your top people. Dreams get you started. Discipline keeps you going. You gotta have a plan, guys. If not, you see the you want to be a pigeon or an eagle. Pigeons do this. They peck the ground all day long, and they do this, and they wait for the next piece of thing. This is what they do. An eagle zooms in. They see what they want, and they zoom in and they catch it. They know what they want. They're stately. They have a plan. You don't find them just flying through the air just because they want to enjoy the sights. So do you want to be a pigeon? Or do you want to be an eagle? You have to have a plan. You have to work that plan. You can't plan it and go, there it is. It's on the wall. <laughs> ah, Monday, Tuesday, that wasn't so good. Okay, let's work Wednesday. That's good. Thursday, well, you know, I called a couple of people. Friday, oh, you know, Monday will be here before you go. <laughs> that will keep you at unit leader. That will not get you further. And, and, you know, I can sit here and give you these hints all day long. But the truth of the matter is, are you going to go forth and do it and put it into practice? Or are you just going to talk about it? You're going to be a pigeon. You're going to peck the ground. Educate yourself. You ain't never going to know it all, cupcake. I don't know it all yet. <laughs> and the day you think you do, and you're too busy trying to make everybody believe you, is the day that you've lost all your effectiveness. <coughs> I am constantly educating myself. Books, videos, dreams made real, Facebook, watching the other seniors, the executives, and the unit leaders who have awesome ideas that I want to go out as a senior and do. I'm like, my Lord, 10 years I've been in Avon and I haven't done that yet. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Conferences, meetings, but if there's something that you feel like you're missing, in a district sales meeting, don't complain about it. Go talk to your district sales manager. Tell them what you want. Tell them what you're looking for. A good district sales manager is going to welcome it because they want you there. That's the truth. The one thing I knew that was good is when we heard at the beginning of the year that Anna Brown was coming here. Aww. I looked at Lee and said, 2014 is looking real good. <laughs> and, um, I'll then we found out the Capitol Division <laughs> that Mike Sanchez was coming back. And a lot of my team was in the Capitol Division. And I gotta tell you, everything's aligned in a row, and it's not just for me. If you don't see it yet, you need to open your eyes, take off your glasses, pull off your blinders. Because I'm telling you, this is a year for a lot of people. And, and, and you're gonna have to get out there and move your tail in order for it to happen. But I promise you this year, it's not just gonna be about say yes to Avon. People are gonna be jumping on it because they're noticing something different with the representatives. Avon's changing our lives. They're uncomplicating it for us. I am so thrilled with this new leadership thing. People go, well, Molly, you're making less money. No, no, guys, I'm gonna be making more money in the end. Yes, listen to me. Think about all your unit leaders who miss checks because they, they didn't have the right number of orders. Think about, and you're saying, but they're making less than them. Compare what they didn't make to now every campaign they're gonna get a check. 
you're going to keep them encouraged. Do you realize most of it's a mindset? It's really not always the money. It's if they feel like they have failed. And Avon now has taken this and turned it around and said, no more failure. We are going to help them succeed. So if you're one of the ones screaming and yelling and pissing and moaning about it, keep doing that because the rest of us are going to go make money. <laughs> yeah, and show other people how to do it. Make a goal to pay someone else to do the simple stuff. Yes, even your kids. If you say I'm too busy, too busy, that's not an excuse because the busy people are the ones that are the most successful. Get them to help you with your brochures. I use voiceshop.com to contact my customers. It tapes my message. It goes out on a certain time, the certain day I want it. And I contacts all my customers for me. Says, hey, guess what? My order's getting ready to go in. You better call me now. It's going in tomorrow. And it always increases my orders by at least $200 or more. Always. Campaign mailer. I can't deliver all my books now. Well, there's this thing called campaign mailer. <laughs> and all I do is fill in the address and for pennies. They ship my brochures to my customers who are far away, which by the way, is really, really good. Because I just moved 40 miles away from all my customers. Which only means that I will be Rose Circle next year because I'll have all the new customers in Linda Jefferson. Lots of people are going to Linda Jefferson. But it's okay, because you, now you've got to work, girl, because Molly's in town, so you know. I'm coming, I'm coming girl. Um, don't wait until you're bogged under. Don't wait. <laughs> then you just say, I didn't do anything. Grab the help where you need the help. Start small and build. Keep it simple. I say silly, this said stupid. I couldn't find another thing on Google, so I'm not calling you stupid, okay? I say that for special people. <laughs> Remember, no one says the journey is easy, but keep it as simple as you can along the way. That brings us to this. Success equals duplication. If it ain't duplicatable, it won't work. Got it? If it doesn't matter what your background is, anybody can do this. It doesn't mean it's for everybody, but anyone can. But if what you're teaching them is not duplicatable, they will not stick. Quit ever complicating it. Here's a brochure. Here you go. I'd like to share with you. Here you go. I should can I call you with the order? Can I have your number? What can I do? Teach them how to sell. Teach them. Teach them how simple it is. Then you say, who do you know that needs money? Go show them what I just showed you. Now you go show them what I just showed you. Before you know it, you've got a team. What's your motto? My team's motto, well my team's name is Team Onward. Our motto is Onward no matter what. You know why? Because Avon changes all the time. Yeah. All the time. Don't get used to these changes, you hear me? Just work with them. There's more will be coming. You never know. But it's coming sometime. No matter what. See, nobody's going to preach to me about life getting in the way. Because if you read my book, my whole life has been in my way my whole life. Deaths, lost my mom at 16, lost some of my best friends. Went through a mean divorce, lost my house, had no money, worked two full-time jobs, still wasn't making enough, and they were to repossess my van. Yeah, that's where I was before I started Avon. Was only going to do it a few months. Ends up that I liked it. Ends up in six months I was making enough to give up one job. Just selling Avon. And then... It's a shame there's not a second chapter already. Recently, the owners of my house that I was renting, the house was foreclosed. Three weeks later, my brother was diagnosed with cancer. My brother is now living with me, as he fights this. I'm still senior. I'm still signing them up. I'm still on their society. So 
don't use excuses because that's all they are. God uses these things to enable your journey. Your journey is to help <coughs> other people. Do you hear me? Your journey, people, they're going to watch it. And they're going to say, what you going to do with this? Don't know me. I know they were watching me. And it would have been real easy to fold. And I said, nope. I've been through worse. And why God keeps using me for the journey, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I'm listening, just so you know. <laughs> but needless to say, where there's a will, there's a way, guys. You hear me? It's up to you. Quit blaming your managers. Quit blaming Avon. Quit blaming your family. Quit blaming your husband. Quit blaming your wife. Quit blaming the president. Quit blaming that, well, maybe the president. <laughs> but besides that, you can do this. And if your team's not here tonight, you need to tell them they can do this. Because maybe you're the only one who believes in them. Think about that. Nobody believed in me. My family still calls it the little lipstick thing, and my team does a million dollars a year. You kids, look how big you gotta be. I'm telling you, you can do this. Now, how do, how do you find me? How do you find Liz? You can find me on Facebook. That's I'm always on Facebook. <coughs> Our group is onward no matter what. It is open to every representative. Actually, we have them globally. We have them Australia, United Kingdom. We have them from Africa. We have them everywhere in our group. And what we do is we share everything we do. Everything we've used. We have other senior friends who come in there and they do the same thing. We are a year old as of March. And as of this morning, we had 5,050. We have district sales managers in there. We have divisionals in there. <coughs> we have people from corporate in there. And most people go, I know I don't want them in there. Why? Why not? I got nothing to hide. They all know how I am. Are you kidding me? No whining. So if you're going to be a whiner, don't come in because I'll poop you. Raise that cattle, as they say. I'll get rid of you. Join us. If you're on Facebook, if you're not, you're missing out on mass social media. Shame on you. A lot of people out there looking for Avon reps. We have conference calls every other Friday night. You're welcome to join. They're open. If you can't make the conference calls, we have replays. How do you find out about them? Get on Facebook and join the Onward group. That's how you're going to find out. I also just, uh, last year I opened up my YouTube videos nationally. They used to just be for my team. Um, Lee just posted one from the conference call this morning. Um, so it's going to help you. Look, you got a rep you don't feel like you can help? Maybe they're too far away? The reason I did this is because I have representatives in 35 states. I can't be there for all of them, but I can be there for all of them. <laughs> this is what you do. And if you feel like, I don't want to do that yet. I'm not a YouTube person. My hair's not done. Well, you can tell me about the answers. Hey, guys, just got done with the event. It's all good. Send them there. Send them there. How to get more customers, the whole nine yards. And a view from the top, volume two. 25 of Avon's top senior executives sharing their inspirational journeys and million dollar tips. We have them in the back. If you want to buy one, I will sign them. If you don't have money, you're an Avon rep. You got money? Seriously? <laughs> but if you don't, we also sell them on Onward. You can contact me, grab one of my business cards. Look. This is the cream of the crop right here, at least in the Fredericksburg, Maryland area. Yeah, we have all 66 other today in the house. I know. Good. So, you can do this. You need to tell your team you can do this. You need to do it together. And if they want to do it alone, that's okay. Some people are loners. But if you keep talking about what you're doing, they're going to get curious. They're going to want to show up. So don't give up on your team. Don't give up on yourselves. And when we meet here in, in, in the next quarter, I, I just can't wait to see the titles. I can't wait to see the recruits. I can't wait to see who sold the most new skincare and the perfumes and 
the colognes, and I can't wait to see who's going to be going. Did you know the trip next year is to Hollywood? Yeah. Let's all go to Hollywood, man. The earth starts and touching all the things. Anna, thank you for having me again. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Molly Lee. Molly Lee. Molly Lee, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Big round of applause for Molly. 